He's the man with the mustache, a star born to the West, a guy who shaped the laws of that wild genre. But there was a bit of lawlessness in his own ranks, the worst being a near fatal attack by his own daughter against her mom. So what happened? How did this seemingly perfect family get its start? I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, here to wrangle the story of Sam Elliott's family life. Make your move, cowboy. From the fairy tale meetings to the nightmarish knife attacks. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to quick draw on that thumbs up button for us and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new deep dive. But now, without further ado, come on and let's ride. How many times has Sam Elliott been married? Sam's flawed family story begins with love at second sight. The year 1969 and Elliot landed a small but meaningful role on Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. How good are you? There he was on set with the radiant Catherine Ross. Work is a good place to meet someone, right? Well, there was just one problem. You know, today he's got a large armful of awards to his name, including induction into the first ever International Mustache Hall of Fame in 2015. Yeah, buddy, I'm serious. Nice work. Thanks, boss. But back then, Elliot had just begun his career three years prior. So as far as he was concerned, he was a small fish in a huge ocean, and she was the queen of the sea. In other words, he kept his distance. He said of their first would-be meeting, quote, I didn't dare try to talk to her then. She was the leading lady. I was a shadow on the wall, a glorified extra in a bar scene. And he wasn't exaggerating. His in-credits role was called card player number two. Oh my, how times have changed. But Elliot and Ross would get their second chance with 1978's Legacy. This time the two shared a footing as they played a couple. So it was the perfect setup for the two to realize they had some surefire chemistry. When asked if it was the mustache, his looks, or that baritone voice, Ross said, quote, Probably all that and more. We were working together and one thing led to another, and here we are. Does Sam Elliott have any biological children? The mid-1980s would truly be a life-changing time for Sam. First, his role in Mask proved to be a bit of a huge break for him. There's a few out there that are worth seeing. There's a few out there probably not worth seeing, but it's part of the game. Of course, after Catherine pushed him to pursue the role when he was ready to just enjoy the honeymoon. Then, on September 17th, 1984, Catherine Ross gave him something else. Their first child together. Meet Cleo Rose Elliott. Just like Catherine would be Sam's only wife, Cleo would be both their only child. Sam's own past would bleed into his work as a father. You see, in his youth, Sam was drawn to acting. And when he gave a stellar performance at a local theater, he was ready to chase that dream in earnest. But throughout all this, his father told him not to at every turn. Dad said he had a snowball's chance in hell and made him focus on getting a college degree. Well, then, that's all he had to say. I'm gonna get angry about it. But Sam would not resent him for this. No, the opposite, actually. Sam said of his old pops, quote, He was a realist, my dad. Was a hard worker. He had a work ethic that I fashioned mine after, and I thank him for that every day. But he was a man's man, and that rubbed off on me. Sadly, Sam's father would die when he was around 18 so he never got to see the remarkable path his son found. But Sam made sure to carry his teachings with him every day, in parenting and in raising animals. Sam has been very vocal about he and Catherine not being afraid to get their hands dirty and staying hands-on. That's why he could proudly say decades later, quote, We've got a 30-year-old daughter, Cleo, that we're deeply in love with and still incredibly close to. Life's good. We live in Malibu and have horses and dogs and cats and chickens. We shovel. Man, that keeps you humble. What does Sam Elliott's daughter do? 
Sam and Catherine famously keep their distance from the noise and spectacle of the Hollywood limelight. They rarely do interviews together and are pretty reserved. Their daughter, Cleo, keeps her distance from acting too, but not from the spotlight. Unlike her parents, Cleo has pursued music and fashion. That was fine by her parents, they didn't need her to be copies of them on the big screen. In fact, according to Cleo, they were glad she chose music instead of acting, but they did teach her their work ethic so she could use it in her music career. This meant that when she was still very young, Cleo learned to play both the guitar and flute, but she always enjoyed singing most. What did Sam Elliott's daughter do? While it seemed a charmed life on the outside, on the inside there was bad blood between Catherine and Cleo. According to Catherine, Cleo, quote, verbally and emotionally abused me, even as a little girl, but became increasingly violent at age 12 or 13. And things came to a head when Cleo was an adult, when, in a fit of rage, Cleo supposedly told Catherine, quote, I want to kill you. She kicked in a cupboard door and followed her mom angrily around the house. Catherine tried to call the police. Cleo cut the phone line and threatened to do the same to Catherine's eyes. Then it happened. Cleo stabbed her mom once, twice, six times in the arm. That's how mom ended up pursuing a restraining order against her own daughter. Catherine said Cleo stabbed at her with, quote, Enough force to pierce my skin through my shirt and leave me with marks that are still visible today. Cleo had to keep at least 100 yards away from Catherine's home, workplace, and car. Neither party made a public comment about what happened, and it seems even after the explosive confrontation, mom and daughter want to connect again because social media posts show them in each other's lives again. By the end of 2022, Cleo had a photo of her and her mom doing a jigsaw puzzle together with the caption, Mom and I love a good puzzle. Well, 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 this indeed is also quite the puzzle. Seems to me you'd be a little more philosophical about it. Why is Sam Elliott's voice so deep? If you can believe it, all of this, everything we know Sam Elliott as, almost changed beyond recognition. Early in his career, a rep told him he should change his voice and get rid of his dialect, saying it was the only way to give him a leading man kind of aura. This could have been confirmation to Sam that different was bad, but he decided long ago his voice was going to be part of his fame. So he stuck to his guns and ignored this advice completely. But you can get through it. You can find out what you're made of. And having such an incredible voice also meant a lot of work. While filming The Big Lebowski, the Coen brothers had Elliot do a scene over and over again. He wasn't doing it wrong. Take number six was perfect. They just wanted to keep hearing him talk another nine times. Yeah, I get that. I don't know about you, but I take comfort in that. Sam made his career out of being real and true to himself, and being true to whatever he put his mind to. So, of course, whenever the show 1883 requires writing and a lot of it, that's Sam giving it his all. But Elliot stayed humble even then. During a red carpet interview talking about the show, he gave a huge shout out to the ranch hand tasked with readying his horse and keeping Sam safe on rides. When Elliot was nicknamed America's Cowboy, he was flattered but also said, quote, There's a lot of real cowboys out there that would fit that bill long before I would. Yeah, Sam Elliot, a surefire class act. Sam Elliott's personal and professional lives have been as wild as some of his films, sometimes even more so. On screen, he's the exemplary life of a man of the law, and often he takes those principles into his everyday life. But when things go awry, they also go crazy, because he is a human being after all. So what is your favorite role of this talented human being, Sam Elliott? Give us some deep cuts while you're at it. This is the end of the trail for me. What about Catherine Ross? What's your favorite role of hers? Did you know any of this about their daughter Cleo? Ever heard any of her music? 
Get in the comments and tell us all things Sam Elliott and Catherine Ross. If you enjoyed our deep dive today, please give it a thumbs up to help the video circulate. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new deep dive. And from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you very much for watching.